He broke big with fans in the mega franchise Fifty Shades of Grey. Welcome to my world. Broke even bigger with fans and critics in Belfast. You touch my family and I'll kill you. And Jamie is ready to lead an Irish invasion with the film's cast at the Oscars in just 25 days. I want to say congratulations on Belfast. I know it's nominated for seven Oscars. It's a mad time. But the most exciting thing is to actually all be together. And after all the bloody two years everyone's had, to actually be all in a room together, been able to like have a drink, have fun, relax and enjoy it rather than like the whole madness of COVID, the campaigning, the sort of the amount of press, all that stuff that goes into it, to finally just be at these things and actually just relax and go like whatever happens, who cares? Like we're here, we've made it this far and we can actually enjoy it together because we had such a great time filming together and we haven't, you know, we've done a lot of stuff together on Zoom and it's just not the same. If I didn't care. Now he's buckling up for a very different kind of leading role in The Tourist. <laughs> Set in the Australian outback, Jamie's character loses his memory after a car crash. Can you tell me your name? I have no idea. And goes in search for his real identity. You're called the man, which I think is hilarious. I think that's so funny. Can you just like speak on that a little bit? You didn't want to pick a name for yourself. Well, that was sort of out of my my uh, <laughs> my pay grade. Um, yeah, it was it was a very cool um, aspect of it for me. And you know, eventually there is a reveal of of his real name. But I remember reading it for those first you know couple of episodes, going like, "This is cool. I get to play the man. Like this is you know." This is this is pretty cool, um, uh, and it, and I guess it, it you're just on his side a bit more. I think from the beginning of just seeing him as 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 that as just this this dude who like has had this terrible situation happen to him, and then you're trying to, you're you're in with him uh, and the man. Would you like for me to refer to you as the man throughout this interview, or I think, I, I think of myself it, the the man is way too cool a sort of moniker for someone like me, I would say. <laughs> this is being described as a darkly comedic thriller. You've got like amnesia. Yeah. <laughs> that is awesome. I think like, you know, it is just, it is challenging um, the idea of um, like a sort of straight tone, you know, it really is. And that's why it's so fun to read and so fun to shoot. It is constantly playing with this idea of like you're a bit unsettled because you don't know where where it's landing. You know, there's a, and, a, and they're very close to each other. It's very like they coming in hot off the back of each other. Like a very dramatic moment is intercut with something really kind of like wacky and funny and unexpected. So um, I felt when I was reading it, and I feel like probably an audience watching it. It takes a beat with this, you know, it probably, you know, you know, at the beginning, you're a bit like, what, what's, ha <laughs> what's happening? I don't know. It's sort of uncomfortable. And then once you settle into the tone and they accept that there's all these different sort of clashes and that's what makes it really interesting. Um, yeah. That then, then you settle in and, and it's a fun ride. That's what was the big draw for me. The fact that it was playing with all these sort of genres in one, you know, uh, one sitting was, was one of the things that I loved about it. But there are things he did not love about shooting in the outback. We did a scene after this dust storm. Uh -huh. um, Shalom Brun Franklin, who, who plays Lucy in it, who's amazing. We had been in, like they'd done a special effect that were, with effects had blasted all this dust at us to emulate like a dust storm. And we were so like we were the funniest color ever, but then we had to do a really big emotional scene where we find out that we've been driving in the wrong direction. And I'm desperately, truly desperately trying to find out this information about myself. And Shalom and I were just really struggling to keep it together because of essentially we were just like this sort of orangey, yellowy orange color, but like our eyes were clean because we'd obviously managed to protect our eyes during it. And, we just couldn't keep it together for a lot of the time. We were just like laughing at this very heightened dramatic moment. Um, I've never been so filthy in my life. I think I had, <laughs> I had three showers after and I was oh. still like the bottom of the shower was just orange and 
drawing in yellow is crazy. So orange is not your color. <laughs> no. Not for you. Jamie's ready for a funny thrill ride when all six episodes of The Tourist hit HBO Max tomorrow. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.